Hey guys, we're training for the South Thailand Championship of motocross and we are out here at the track. If you want to see what track we're training at and what training facility, you can look in the link below. But in this video, we're going to talk about four different ways you can load the foot pegs when you hit a jump. And uh, these four different ways can be categorized into two different categories. There's passive loading and active loading. So let's start with the simple one. Actually, when we hit jumps in motocross, whether you think about it or not, you have a certain degree of softness in your legs or your knees to be exact. So when you hit the jump, you do a little bit of flexing with the knees when you hit the takeoff, okay? And that is actually going to determine, determine how high you fly on the jump, okay? So usually, what most people do when they have been riding motocross for a while is they just have like a medium hard loading of the foot pegs or medium stiffness in the, in the knees, okay? Then you got another case where if you have a jump where you want to try to limit how far you jump, you know, you soak up the jump, as we say, and that means you're being really soft in your legs and you're allowing the bike to come to you in the air so that the takeoff doesn't pop you up in the air so much. And you see the supercross guys, they're doing this all the time. They soak up the jumps. It basically looks like most of the time in the air, it looks like they're sitting on the bike in the air, but they're actually not, okay? They're just soaking up the jumps. So that makes it possible to hit the jump faster without over jumping and jumping too far on the other side. That's actually exactly what I do on this particular jump right behind us every time. As I give it a lot of gas and then I turn off the gas right here and I, and I roll the jump and I soak it up so I get soft in my knees so I don't over jump the jump, okay? And actually soaking it up is what most complete beginners they do because they instinctively know that it will put them in less danger. Like it's like it feels safer to soak it up a little bit and then you don't jump that far. Then if you have the opposite situation where you have a jump where you want to jump as far as you can, then you want to be loading the foot pegs really hard and that's done by being really stiff in your legs and basically trying to feel as much pop as possible when you hit the takeoff. So you don't allow the bike to come to you. You actually, we call it stretching it out. You stretch out your legs and you just um, stretch out your whole body. And that will that'll make the suspension compress as much as possible and give you a really hard pop. So you're gonna jump further, maybe, maybe um, 10 feet further on some jumps you can do. Okay, so that's hard loading with very stiff legs when you hit the jump. And then we got the more advanced one that we're actually training today which is an active way of loading the foot pegs. So what we've just been talking about before are kind of uh, passively loading the foot pegs with a certain amount of static stiffness in the legs that you just kind of uh, set your legs. When you hit the jump, you decide, oh, am I going to soak this up or not with how much tension you have in your quads, basically, and your legs. And developing awareness and distinguishing between all these is something that you can do over time by, first of all, just by being aware of these four different types of loading the foot pegs, okay? That's why we're going through the steps here, so we can um, create an awareness of this. And each jump is going to be a little bit different um, on how you load the foot pegs. So now let's talk about the active loading of the foot pegs. It's also known as preloading uh, or hopping the bumps on a motocross track or the whoops. So you know in motocross on sand tracks they develop deep holes over time and one of the fastest and most effortless ways to get through these uh, big bumps on sand tracks or rough motocross tracks is by doubling or tripling through the holes or hopping through the, the holes on the track. Um, and that's an active work of the legs, that's an active way of working with the bike and the suspension. So you actually, before you, you hit a bump, you're actually trying to push into the suspension. So the suspension is working, um, the suspension is working as a unit with your legs and you actively try to jump with the bike as if it's an extension of your body, okay? And it also requires a new element, which is timing. You need to time like your pressure into the suspension and the foot pegs. You need to time that also with throttling 
because usually you only have like a half a second to, to compress the suspension and gas it at the same time. So that requires timing uh, of throttle and timing of, of the active work with the legs. So that's, like a, that's why it's a more advanced skill. That is how you can categorize foot brake pressure and working with the suspension on jumps. And try to think of the bike as being a part of your body when you hit jumps. And you've probably heard that before. It's like almost a cliche in motocross. Uh, when you're riding really well, you're feeling like the bike is just an extension of your body and you're working like a unit. So see if you can uh, work towards that. And thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, subscribe. If you want to support this training camp, you can also do that directly in the link below. And I think the guys here might uh, return the favor when you come here on your next holiday for training motocross. So keep that in mind. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.